Yo, 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 it's Pino from Pino's Media. Coffee Night Tea is what you're watching, stirring it up and keeping it fresh for you. That's what I do. All right, we're going to go get up out of here and head over to Australia real quick. Yes, indeed. Why? It's $106 million worth of crystal meth and cocaine that was found in a vintage Bentley. And get this, at the end of the day, after all was said and done, it got to a 22-year-old and a 23-year-old. And it traveled from Canada to Australia. Whoa. Okay, so this, this is my, these are my questions here, okay? Is this due to the pandemic? I mean, you're 22 and 23 years old. That's a lot of money you just got yourself entangled with. And then on top of that, it came from Canada. So how much of the blame are you guys going to get when it came from Canada? Like, is the people that sent it from Canada, they going to realize that they fucked up a little bit, got y'all hemmed up? My next question is, who's going to destroy all those drugs? Because they're not going to destroy. I don't think they're going to destroy them drugs. That's too much money right there. The government can put that back on the streets and get that money back on a low low. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they got dirty cops too and stuff like that. I mean, look at this. This is a lot of product. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, man, I don't know what to say other than next topic. So, uh, we're going to leave Australia. We're going to head back to the States. We're going to park ourselves in California in Orange County, folks. A pregnant inmate, a former pregnant inmate, lost her child. You know, she uh, was locked up in 2016. Her water broke. Orange County uh, jail guys, they, they were cruddy. According to the article, they... They didn't do what they needed to do, and she, in the end of the day, she lost her child, and it took her six years of fighting with the courts to get a settlement of $480,000, all right? $480,000 was the settlement. My only question is, uh, where were the female workers at, and where, what was your mind frames when this was happening? Was this all males that attend to it, you know? And then they took you to the Starbucks and then took you there. Like, I mean, I just want to know. I'm like, and, and then the people at the hospital that was attending to this inmate that came in drastically late after the water breaking, you know what I mean? Like, did what happened to do no harm? What, what, why aren't y'all speaking out? I, I'm pretty sure y'all could tell that her water been broke and she should have been here at the hospital and she should have been had treatment and all of that. I mean, according to the article, off the top after her water broke, it was a two hour wait before anyone paid attention to her. Are we really holding what that person did against a new life that doesn't even know nothing? This life doesn't even know that it's even existing yet. You know what I mean? They're just... Wow, people, that is crazy. I'm going to go ahead and have to shut this down because this was an emotional episode, man. Jeez. I'll be playing out here too much in these streets, man. We got to do way, way better. Anyway, it's your boy Pino from Pino's Media. Coffee, not tea. And we're starting with it up. Keep it a fresh smoke. You. You feel me? I'll add your boy. Oh, and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe.